Hey everybody, you found in Tunis, and welcome to another episode of Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, we conquered Bulasis and got so many boos. So many of them. So many. Alright, let's open this door. This part of the game is very interesting. Lights out. Criminy, what a calamity! The, the, ele the electricity has gone out. That lightning strike must have caused a blackout. I can't see anything in this blasty darkness. The ghost will have to run of the place in the dark. Be careful, Luigi. What happens here? Is that just about every single room in the mansion has a ghost in it. And this is the creepiest part of the game, I'm warning you now. This is the telephone room. So Luigi's gonna pick up the phone. Hello? Hello, may I ask who is speaking, please? So you could either say it's Luigi or it's Bowser. I don't know why I'd say it's Bowser, because you're not. Toad decides to call you. Phew! I don't know what I would have done if a ghost had answered. Anyway, we have a terrible problem. That lightning caused a blackout all over the house. What should we do? We're really, really afraid of the dark. Isn't there a way you can turn the lights back on? Are we? Oh, there is more than one toad. I knew it. Huh? No, we don't know how to turn them on. We were hoping you'd know. Sniff. Oh, me. Now, remember when I said this was the creepiest part of the game? Here's why. There's been a lot of speculation about this. When lightning flashes, that little shadow of Luigi, the shadow of him appears to be him being hung by the ceiling. It's believed to be a subliminal message. Next time the lightning strikes, take a look. A lot of people didn't see it, but I do. And I don't really believe in many subliminal messages. I think usually things as soft as this are much more positive than that, and positivity is better, and all that, but... I don't know, I mean, it looks like that to me. So now Toad's talking about a breaker switch in the basement. And that's how you're gonna have to turn on the power. Hello? Oh my god, Egad just said howdy. Oh, he is southern. I knew it! Oh, so I was right. Oh, sorry to surprise you, boy. It's me, Professor Egad. Sorry for disturbing you. I know I usually contact you by Game Boy Horror, but I thought I'd try this phone since you were in the room. You know that all ghosts avoid the light and hide in the dark. But listen now, there's one ghost who fled from the gallery who only hides in the darkest places. His name is Uncle Grimly. If he is on the loose, then now may be your only chance to get him. Why don't you try looking for him before you get those lights back on? Might be wise. He's old for a ghost, but it's only made him more cautious. I do know, though, that for some reason he tends to prefer a room for mirrors. Uh-oh, the ghosts are starting to approach your position. Be careful, Luigi. <laughs> Truly, I don't know why, this part of the game just creeped me out. <laughs> so we're gonna capture some more ghosts. Now, if you don't notice, I just caught all the ghosts in the room, but the lights just still didn't come back on. For the obvious reason about the blackout. So now what we gotta do... Well, actually, hold up. Is there any treasure in here? Oh, no, there's nothing. What we gotta do here... We have to go all the way back through the bottom of the mansion. But ghosts are in literally every single room. Except for one. So not literally every single room. See, you can't walk for a couple of seconds without them stopping you. It's ridiculous. In the hallways, the, the, the dark hallways, the same amount of ghosts appear as they did before. But watch. I'm gonna walk a couple of feet. Watch how many ghosts appear. Two just spawned. It's usually more than that, though. Weird. Now. I'm gonna do this the safe, cheap, and easy way. Whoa. 
I'm gonna walk over to the bathroom. Crap ton of ghosts are gonna appear in here. But you're gonna search the mirror as quick as you can because the ghosts just hit me as you can see. And take me back to the foyer. No ghosts appear in the foyer. Not a single one. It's the safest place in the whole game. So, you remember how they said Uncle Grimly hides in rooms with mirrors? I bet you're thinking, David, you're such an idiot. Why aren't you checking the mirror room? That's where I checked the first time I played this game. Because that's where I thought he was. He's not. He's in here. Yes, there's a mirror in this room too, but like, it's not known for its mirrors. Nobody will find me because I'm old, cranky, and back gum. People are afraid of me. It's not true at all. Only thing you can do is not look at him, but then he raises his hands up, and that's how you gotta capture him. Come on, Uncle Grimley. Oh no, I think I burped into my headset. Not good, not good, not good! The lights don't come back on still, for the obvious reason of the blackout, as I said before. Just checking to see if there's anything in here. Also, if you notice, since the blackout, Toad left, because he got afraid. Oh, good God. I never knew ghosts appeared there, I never checked. I'm gonna open this up, and I'm gonna grab the key! This key opens a door in the basement. Wait. Oh no, I thought I saw Toad for a second. I'm just used to seeing him there, I guess. So, we're gonna go to the basement. The scariest part of just about any house. Yeah. And the key opens this door. Welcome to the breaker room. Which is what I believe is called the breaker room, am I right? Alright. And I believe there's a blue ghost in here, so before I turn the lights on, I'm gonna see if I can find it. Wait, no! Oh, I didn't mean to hit the breaker switch yet. Oh well. That's the breaker switch, and it just reactivated the power for just about the entire house. Oh, yeah. So, let's grab another key. <laughs> and this key opens the door right below us. Well, not below us, but opposite of us. Now, you'll see what I mean by gigantic boo health. You remember before in a couple episodes ago how I said the boo's health get atrociously large? Well, check it out. This boo has 200 health. It doesn't seem fair, though. I mean, don't you think? That's the boo I never get to capture. And this room, I forgot what it's called. It's called the... Oh, it's the cellar. If you notice, there's a ton of dust on the floor. And, go and there are only two pink ghosts hiding in the barrel. Those are the only ghosts in here, I think. So we're just gonna vacuum all this dust up. Actually cleaning with the vacuum cleaner for once. <laughs> and you'll get yet another key. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that opens the door way up on the third floor. That other room in the telephone room. But there's also a boo in here, so we're gonna need to find that boo. And here it is. Now his health is only a hundred, it seems more fair. Oh, he only has one health left. Are you serious?! Oh my god. How could I not have caught him there? He only had one health point, oh my god. Oh, yeah, and these things are back. Forgot to mention that. 
I was angry about the boo. Let's check back up. Now I gotta go back up to the third floor. But before I do that, I have to end the episode. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in my next episode. Peace out.